Hello crafty friend, it's Justine. Today with all of these dies and all of these little cutouts, I'm going to use the large die of the month, which is called Blooming Pomegranate. And this is kind of a different die. Spellbinders in the past has had other dies that are fruit related, like the lemon or the strawberries. So it's just kind of, in my mind, a little bit expected for summer to have something kind of fresh and fruity like this around this time of month. So it's kind of a different dye, but fun at the same time. So we have this big greenery area and that's gonna kind of live a little bit over here. I'm gonna put that down first because everything is going to be layered on top of this green piece. And this is going to be a thank you card with this little dye. I've die cut that out already there's all these pieces, so I've die cut everything out already, but I will kind of walk you through the process of die cutting if you need it. If you have any questions about how to layer anything here, check out this video, and then if you have questions, please let me know in the comments, because there are quite a few layers here, especially with the pomegranate. So the one pomegranate that's going on the left has the solid piece, and then this piece that has the bigger holes cut out which is right here so these two i'm going to layer them on top and i kind of took artistic liberty with this die and just used whatever colors i was kind of feeling which is kind of like a mauve and a baby pink which are those the colors of a pomegranate no but it's fine it just works out so that's going to go kind of right about here and then my other pomegranate this big one is going to go right next to it and I'm gonna leave this be a little bit open because I'm going to end up putting the little flower part of the fruit right about here but we will secure it down fully later now this big pomegranate piece is kind of different but you will use this main cutout piece and then this piece that presses in the areas for that piece. I hope the light's catching it. There we go. You can see those three sections there. So I'm going to just pop this right on and then I will follow the areas that are on this piece to put on all of my sections. So I will outline it with glue and then layer from the bottom up. So the back part on my pomegranate is this dark maroon which is going to go right about here and then this piece will go here and then my last dark piece will go on the left like that then I'm going to have my white glitter paper go on next and then I will top it off with this pink now for lining up the holes for these I did not do a perfect job for doing for lining that up but it still will give an interesting look so you can see here that's what mine look like when they're all lined up you can see that you will see the background a little bit but it's not perfect and I'm okay with that I use card making as kind of like a fun time and a little bit of a getaway from real life so I don't think anything here needs to be perfect and I will layer on this pink piece and do the same with the other two next I'm going to focus on the leaves now there are some darker pieces that go on certain leaves to give a little bit of dimension a little bit of color differentiation to the leaves so I will first lay them out how I kind of envision them to be and then see what looks good. Lining up the greenery was a little bit like a puzzle, but it was kind of neat to see where everything goes. If you're ever wondering about placement for any of these dies, you can always look at the inspiration card and that can kind of help out, kind of help you out a little bit but sometimes you don't have to follow it and you can just kind of do your own thing, which I kind of, again, took a little artistic liberty and put pieces where they probably weren't meant to go, but they're going there anyway. <laughs> I 
I hope everyone is doing well. Recently, I have been doing very well, <laughs> not just well, but very well. Um, I have some pretty big news that I will be announcing later this month. So just stay tuned. I cannot talk about it yet, but I am so excited. And I know, I hope that you will be excited for me when I tell you the news, but just know that it is going to be um, awesome. <laughs> and only those of you who are watching this little part of this large die of the month video are going to know about a little bit of a sneak. The only sneak I'm going to say is that you will know on the 10th of this month. I know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Moving on to these little flowers that have this little bud. So it's going to be layered up like this and there are two of those. So I will just quickly layer those up. I'm just going to set those off to the side because I want to kind of create these flowers before I decide where anything else goes on the greenery. The big pomegranates down here, of course, are going to end up on the bottom, so that's why I put those on already. Now with these four flowers, the light pink is going to be the top part because, whoops, because it has a little bit of a different dimension than the other two that were kind of like the blossoms. So that, the glue is going to go on the top part because that will be kind of the bottom of the blossom. For these, there is one specific flower that goes on top of the bottom. You can see that lines up perfectly. So you kind of have to just see which one matches and then put it with the matching piece like so. You can kind of see what the matching piece is by looking at the dark part and then matching up the petals of the flower. Then to add a little interest to the center of the flowers, there's these die cut pieces that we're going to add on. So I die cut those out with the white glitter paper, which if you watched my small die of the month video, you know that I have just been using a lot of that. I use that for my stitching die actually as well. So I've just been loving some glitter paper recently. Okay, so this big piece goes in the center and then an even smaller piece goes in the center of that. And then for that, I die cut that out with this light pink that I used on the pomegranate, just so it's kind of a little nod for it, nod to the pomegranate, because I'm pretty sure these blossoms are supposed to be the pomegranate tree's blossom. So it would make sense that the colors coordinate. Next, I'm going to do these three pieces, which again are kind of like blossoms or buds. So they have holes in them, so to show the background, I'm going to put these three pieces here behind where the holes are so it kind of covers up that area and shows the pink. I don't know if this is the reason why these are part of this set, but I couldn't really figure out any other reason for these to be here, so if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. and. If I am correct, then there you have it. That's what you do. <laughs> okay, now to position all of my flowers. I will first position them before I glue, just because I'm feeling a little bit cautious this morning. I had a little bit of a oops. That was a big oops with another video that I was filming, and I had to die cut out some more things. So I am feeling cautious, to say the least. Okay. I know I usually leave in some of those oops moments, but I felt like I couldn't leave in all of it because it was kind of a big oops, so. I like with this dye that it has the blooming parts of the flower areas and then the little buds like these and then the big pomegranates on the bottom. It's definitely quite an interesting dye. It's not something that I would have envisioned would be 
I suppose in that way it's kind of a different style of dye. I have my placement of all of my purple, of all of my pomegranate flowers down and now I'll just add a little bit of liquid glue and chat with you as I put these on. So you'll notice there are a number of white flowers right here that I still need to add onto this card. And I think when I add those on, it's just really going to make this whole card just pop with color and the white will look really good on the blue background. I just have this feeling. Anyway, speaking of the background, I do, I did also use the 3D embossing folder of this month, which is just so stunning and it has a ton of dimension. That embossing folder is called the Stylized Floral embossing folder and it is yes a 3d embossing folder which are my favorite just because they have so much dimension and it really gives texture to a card which I love next for the white flowers I'll just kind of quickly pop them on where I am thinking I want them and then to embellish this card, I think I will use some gems, maybe from that Crystal Mix self-adhesive embellishments. That's a really a mouthful <laughs> from Spellbinders. The look of this sentiment is super interesting because it has this thanks sentiment here and it's very thin. It punches out the letters just enough that you can see it through the letters and see the background. So on the background I put this orange bronzy glitter paper. So it's very subtle but it has that shine to it which I think is just kind of interesting and that matches the glitter paper that I used on the blooming areas of the pomegranate. So that's just kind of a different different thing that I like about this one. Now to pop up my sentiment, it looks like I am out of my foam squares from my card kit. So I'm gonna grab my small foam squares from Spellbinders here and just pop up my sentiment just so it has a little bit of dimension. I love that this die has a ton of dimension with all of the layers of all of the flowers. So I don't wanna have a flat sentiment because I don't think it would really go. For placement of my sentiment, I'm thinking this top corner just kind of works for my brain just to keep the focus of the main area of the card, the whole flowered areas. I'm just giving it a little shake just to make sure that I didn't forget to glue something down. Lastly, to finish off my card, I'm going to grab some of my self-adhesive embellishments and I think I'm going to grab my crystal mix, which I love this. This is like my favorite gem pack. And I think I'm gonna use these ones, the a little bit more of like rainbowy color ones, and just add those to my project kind of all over and make this kind of a blingy, bright, but a little bit edgy with the black and the blue kind of card. So I'm gonna put four of the really small ones on the blooming flowers and then on the little white flowers I think I'm gonna actually pull these opal kind of color ones and I'll grab the medium small yes that looks exactly like I wanted it to yay I love when that happens <laughs> If you're interested in grabbing this blooming pomegranate dye, I will have a link in the description so you can grab this for yourself. Because this is part of the club memberships, it will be going away on after the 27th. So if you're interested in this dye, make sure you grab it before August 27th. And it, I mean, it could come back as a individual item, but there's never a guarantee for that. So if you want this one, you gotta grab it before the 27th is over. One more flower to do here, and 
this card is all finished. Ooh, should I add a little Wink of Stella? You guys, I finally went to my craft store and got more Wink of Stella. So I think we're gonna do it just to add a little bit more bling and glitz to this card. Why not, you know? <laughs> I always use the clear Wink of Stella just because I think it works on every single cardstock that I've ever used it on. So clear always is my go-to. I've tried the gold and the silver and I didn't like it as much as the clear just because the clear has a clear liquid with the fine glitter. The gold and the silver have a gold and silver liquid as well as a gold and silver sparkle. So it changes the color of the cardstock, which if that's what you're looking for, that's fabulous, but I did not really like the way that it turned out on any of the projects that I used it on, so I'm just gonna stick with my clear for now and just keep buying the clear. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the light pink parts of this pomegranate, but not on the back part. Wow, that is a lot of glitter. Anyway, I hope you've liked today's card, and if you have, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this and other ones from me in the future. I am going to be receiving all of the club items this month, so I'll have an inspiration video for every single club item, including the butter press, the wax seal, the embossing folder, all the fun things, glimmer, stitching, <laughs> and come on back for the 10th for an announcement video on my channel. Anyway, we'll have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.